Well, you've had time to watch the film of everything. I know, you know, it's always a tough loss to take, but what are your yeah. assessments? Well, you can't make mistakes like we made in the first half and expect to win on the road. doesn't matter who you're playing. And we had opportunities to score touchdowns, but we didn't. And the big play was the no three-pointer, and they turn around and score before the half. That's a 10-point swing, and you just can't make those mistakes. It's kind of a short memory coming into a short week like this, right? Yeah, it is. Uh, you know, probably a good thing. we got a quick game, get it off your mind and go. And, but we're playing a good football team, and, you know, we're going to have to play uh, better than we played against Tulane to win. How different is the Houston team that you've seen this year on film from what it was last year under Coach Sumlin? Well, I think the defense has changed. Uh, they do a lot of good things on defense. Uh, they got good schemes, and they know what they're doing. Uh, I think offensively, they're, it's the same uh, fast-paced, uh, hurry-up deal, but they don't have Case Keenum in there. But their quarterback has played very well. I thought the last three weeks he's played really well and just getting better as he, as he gets more experience. Their quarterback, uh, Pylon, I think made his debut here a couple of years ago. Other than just the experience that Keenum had, how is he different from Keenum? Well, uh, his release is not as fast as, uh, as him, but he's starting to understand the offense like he did. And, you know, he's throwing the, throwing the ball where it's supposed to go. And, uh, you know, he, he'll... Uh, you know, he, he, we need to disrupt the timing of, of what they do. How much is... You know, one of, them, well, one of them was legit. The other one, I mean, I mean you got to be looking for something. You know, right. Exactly. Like, that's what happens in football. You get some good, some bad. But basically, they're saying that he's keeping the ball. Well, I mean, I didn't see it. But <laughs> that's what they said, so he did. Why did Derek Jeter and Derek Joseph fall last game? Darius Johnson was hurt, and uh, we need more production. Let's see. What did you think of their performances, uh, Joseph and Dieter? Well, uh, de you know, both were rookies and, you know, made a lot of, of uh, first game errors, but, uh, you know, they did okay. I mean, Darius Joseph made a nice catch on a tough catch uh, for the end zone, but he's got to play faster and play better, but he, he, he did some good things. On the second last possession, you settled with the field goal instead of just going for it on fourth down. Looking back, I mean, are you still happy with that decision? And yeah, it was the right decision. I mean, they hadn't moved the ball at all in our defense the whole second half, and their field goal kicker is 100% from outside the 40-yard line, so there ain't no guarantee that you got to complete three passes in their field goal range. And uh, unfortunately, we gave up a touchdown. Well, you got the ball back then with like 30 seconds left, need a field goal. Watching the film of that, did Gary Gilbert make the right reads and make the right decisions, or what happened? Um, we, we didn't complete the ball. I but I mean, what, was he making the right reads? Yeah. 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 Gary Gilbert had another game with uh, less than 50% wow. percentage. Are you still confident that he can turn it around? Yeah, it's not good enough to win. He's got to play better. Uh, you know, everybody's got to play better, not just him. But he competed and he, uh, you know, scrambled, made some big plays when we had to have a drive down there at the end. And, and uh, you know, that's what quarterbacks do. You find a way to to put yourself in position. You put us ahead after being down 20 to whatever it was, and then we, we went ahead 26-20. So, you know, he got us in position to win the game. you feel like you saw his confidence in his game? Um, you know, at times uh, he, he plays confident, and other times, you know, he's still learning what he's doing. And, you know, we just got to keep getting better, and we're going to have to play better this week to win. You mentioned uh, yeah. yeah, I was happy with that. You know, I, I think that, uh, you know, like I said before, he's got a real good leg, and I don't see anything fundamentally wrong other than he just, you know, missed a couple. Uh, but, you know, he worked on it. He works hard every day, and, you know, I, I was happy to see that he, he kicked well. You mentioned that Houston's offense has a lot of the same scheme as last year. Mm -hmm. um, Given the short week, but also given his familiarity with their personnel, does Jason Phillips get into a defensive meeting this week and lend any insight to those guys? Uh, I don't think so. You know, they, they, we are. I mean, they know what we're doing and we know what they're doing. I mean, you already know what we've been going against each other for five years. So, if you don't know it, then you got a problem. Anything else, guys?